The women nominated in this category have delivered wondrous career-defining performances. It's an absolute pleasure to recognize a group that represents such a wide range of backgrounds, perspectives, and experience. Let's take a look at this year's exceptional nominees. And the BAFTA is awarded to... Ye Jung Yoon for Minari. Wow, hello, Britain. Hello. Oh, I'm Korean actress Ye Jung Yoon, and I don't know how to say. I'm just very honored to be nominated. I'm no, 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 I'm the winner now. <laughs> um, oh. First expression, I'd like to express my deep condolence for your Duke of Edinburgh. And thank you so much for this award. Uh, every award is meaningful, but this one, especially recognized by British people, known as very snobbish people, and they <laughs> approve me as a good actor. So. I'm very, very privileged and happy. And thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for the voter who bought me. Thank you very much, BAFTA, very much. Supporting actor next, uh, to tell us who's won it, the hugely talented star of genius Aretha and the great Harriet, soon to be seen in Pinocchio. Well, I never know when I should believe it when people tell me that. If they're remarkable, <laughs> Cynthia Aretha. Sometimes the brightest stars aren't in every scene, and yet somehow they have the power to capture your heart in an instant. When they grace the screen, they change the landscape of the story they tell. And when they're gone, their mark is indelible. And the BAFTA goes too. Dania Kaluuya for Judas and the Black Messiah. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Bastard, for this award. Thank you, all my friends and family. Thank you to my mum. Man, thank you, uh, Proximity, uh, Warner Brothers, Bron, Participant, uh, everyone that helped build this project together and brought it to this point. I think Shaka, um, uh, thank you for your leadership. I think all the cast, Lakeith Stanfield, Dominique Fishback, you know, I, this recognition is a reflection of what we all did. Um, I'd like to thank, um, you know, and I'd like, to thank, I'd like to thank a couple of people that in my childhood and in my formative years, them, their existence meant everything to me. So I'd like to thank Kathy Tyson, I'd like to thank Roy Williams, and I'd like to thank Ashley Waters for being a light and guiding the way I'd like to thank um, Chairman Fred Jr. and Mama Kua for partnering up with us and joining hands to, to, to bring this man to the position that he belongs, which is at the forefront, the forefront of everything, as Chairman Fred Hampton. Um, and uh, it's an honor to, to, to be a vessel for him. And, uh, and yeah, man, it's early in the morning there. I'm just here chilling, just <laughs> saying, I'm happy, appreciative, <laughs> grateful. It's a vibe, do you know what I'm saying? Love to everyone watching back home. Do you know what I'm saying? Love you guys, man. Peace and love, man. Take care of yourself. Onwards. Great acting is invisible on screen. We don't see the work behind the scenes. We only see the truth of a fully formed, precise, perfectly drawn character. These six actors delivered exceptional and seemingly effortless, truthful performances and deserve to be recognized. And the BAFTA is awarded to Sir Anthony Hopkins for The Father. Anthony Hopkins is unable to be with us, but Florian Zeller, the writer of The Father, will uh, collect on his behalf. Thank you. So, uh, as you can see, I'm not Anthony Hopkins, but he, he's very sorry not to be with us tonight, and he sent me this message um, so that I can read it to you. My heartfelt thanks to everyone who participated in the making of The Father, extraordinary screenplay and cast and crew. 
everyone involved make it an unforgettable experience. It was an honor. Thank you. Merci Florian. And thank BAFTA. And as a director, personally, I just want to send my gratitude and my admiration for Tony, to Tony for his uh, wonderful performance. He has been uh, brave enough and generous enough to explore beautiful and painful emotions. And to this film, he gave everything and a little bit more. So thank you, BAFTA, and huge congratulations to you, Tony. The nominees tonight created some of the most memorable performances that transported us to other places and lives. You inspired, educated us, and broke our hearts. Let's take a look. And the BAFTA goes to Francis McDormand for Nomadland. Now, we've just received this message via carrier pigeon from Frances, who is somewhere in the wilds of North America. And she says, thank you, dear British people. I humbly accept this honor on behalf of the Nomadland tribe and company. We salute you. Long may we roll. A director is the person with the empathy and energy to lead a team of filmmakers, the camera crew, the designer, the actors, writers, editors, and the myriad of others that will come together to ultimately create the director's vision. And the BAFTA is awarded to Chloe Zhao for Nomadland. Uh, thank you so much, Basta. Thank you so much. I, I think I just uh, made my teacher at Brighton College really proud. Uh, <laughs> I would love to share this award with my producers, Francis McDormand, Peter Spears, Molly Asher, and Dan Genvey, and also the whole team at Search Live Pictures. Thank you so much for creating such a safe and uh, encouraging environment for me to always challenge myself and to play. Um, a huge special shout out to Francis McDormand who is a brilliant storyteller of her own. Uh, thank you, Fran, for discovering Fern with me and for bringing so much joy to our journey. Thank you. Five incredible films, five unique stories, five teams who worked tirelessly to bring us this year's summit of cinematic excellence. For everyone involved in one of the productions under consideration, let me tell you, you are in phenomenal company. And the BAFTA is awarded to Nomadland. Um, thank you, BAFTA, again. Thank you so much. Um, we would like to dedicate this award to the uh, nomadic community who so generously welcomed us into their lives. Um, they shared with us their dreams, their struggles, and their deep sense of dignity. Thank you for showing us that aging is a beautiful part of life, a journey that we should all cherish and celebrate. How we treat our elders says a lot about who we are as a society, and we need to do better. Thank you again, members of the BAFTA. Hello and welcome back. And I am delighted to be joined by our best actor winner, Anthony Hopkins. Uh, congratulations, Hello. Sir Anthony. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Do you come with your own? All oh, right. I was going to ask if you travel everywhere with your own cheering squad. Yes, I do. I always have to have them keep my morale. Absolutely. <laughs> in West Wales on a holiday. So. Oh, lovely. Well, um, I mean, congratulations. This, this was, I think, your eighth BAFTA nomination. Your first was for The Lion in Winter in 1969. You even got the fellowship okay. in, in 2008. And, you know, the fellowship is usually a sign that you've done enough in your career, that you're, you're, you know, you're established, you're solid, and you've, you've kept on going amazingly. I mean, um, what, you know, what, what is it that you still love about acting? It keeps me out of trouble. <laughs> Gives me a lot of things. Does uh, it's I, I don't know it's uh I don't want to sound heavy about it but it's the only thing I know how to do. Um, mm -hmm. I I don't know how I became an actor. I had no intention of doing anything really. 
But I, it's something that's passing my blood now, I think. Question now from Neil Smith at BBC News Online. How does winning this BAFTA compare to the ones you've received previously? Oh, well, uh, this is wonderful. I mean, I, <laughs> I'm at the first time in my life when I never expected to get this, you know. Uh, I, I mean, I get, got a point in my life and I thought, I wonder if I'll ever work again. That's the actor's nightmare. <laughs> but anyway, in this script, this particular film, um, which is a powerful film, I know, and um, and I don't really. I mean this. I I as I've mentioned, it makes it easy, and so for me this is a bonus. It's a fun bonus, and um, I wish all the other nominees. Uh, I haven't seen the program yet, but I wish all the nominees and the winners, you know, congratulations. I'm just so astounded. I was sitting here painting, in fact my little room in the hotel and uh, I'm covered in paint. Look, I can see my eyes. And I was thinking, I had this cheer go up from next door. And I thought, what the hell has happened? I thought, it was a, I thought somebody, I thought they were watching a football match and they came in and said, <laughs> and then I got a message from, from Florian. Look, I'm covered in paint. From Florian, just at that moment. He said, what? Oh, good God. Anyway, so there we are. <laughs> One quick last question. This comes from Ben Dalton at Screen. He says, congratulations, Sir Anthony. Uh, what needs to happen to support artists and the arts as we hopefully move out of this pandemic? Oh, that's a, that's a difficult question to answer. I have mm. no idea. Well, does anyone really? I mean, mm. I, mean everyone, I, I know everyone all over the world is trying the best they can, governments and you know, politicians and medical scientists trying their best to get this thing sorted out. It is a mess and it is scary for millions of people, billions of people. Um, mm. I don't know where this is going. I don't think any of us do. But I think it helps us to pay attention from now on, to, to not take everything so, for granted, you know, that people mm. really suffering in the world with this pandemic. And recently we just, you know, there was a, an eruption in... Uh, the Caribbean and St. Vincent's and God, yeah. I mean, you think is there no end to this? It's just horrifying. And uh, but you know, one lives in hope and uh, hope we come through. And um, awesome. I, I'm, uh, I, I will say one thing about the film, The Father. I, I'm proud yeah. of it, proud yeah. to be in it. But I think the pandemic we've been through is a parallel universe to the confusion that would hit somebody with dementia. The mass confusion of families who are stuck and cannot move, kids who can't go back to school, people who can't go to hospitals, people who are dying. Mm. And it's, it, it's, a, it's another reality. And I think this is a close parallel. It's not a cheerful parallel, but it is a close parallel. When you're losing your senses and anchors, as this man does in, uh, with dementia, in a way it's reflecting when we are losing our anchors in families and in schools and mm. education, economy. Um, God only knows. I just hope that uh, we all hope that uh, we come through this with uh, yeah. with some kind of sense of triumph and to take care in the future. You know, I, I'm confident. I'm optimistic that we will do this because the human species is a brilliant, creative genius, and yet a lot of trouble as well. So I'm hoping that we all pull through together. You know. Absolutely. Well, listen, I will let you get back to your celebrations with your, your cheerleaders there. But uh, congratulations again. And thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> Cheers.